President Clements has uh, he admitted that they fumbled, that they dropped the ball, and that starting in the morning, there's going to be a complete re-evaluation of this project from location. It was good news to this crowd of 150. It is definitely a win for me, but I think it's a win for the um, city of Clemson. Tanya Hyatt marshaled the opposition to the project, a $51 million, 16 megawatt natural gas power plant that would produce thermal energy for the university, a joint project between Duke and Clemson, sitting just feet from her door. So the eyesore on campus, they're just moving into a neighborhood, and no resident wants that. Residents proved that tonight, showing up at the Duke Energy Informational Session to hear what the utility had to say. We have a petition if you would sign it. And to make their voices heard. The public wasn't notified of this. It was all just kind of found out by accident from someone in the neighborhood and that there was no involvement of the public. Duke says they notified Pickens County and the city of Clemson and that information sessions like this one are how they get the word out. We have been reaching out to elected officials. We've been reaching out to uh, community organizations and such. And so we'll continue to do that uh, as the process moves forward because we want to make sure everybody is part of the process and understands exactly what it is that we're doing here which sounds like going back to the drawing board. They admitted that they needed more input, they needed to think through it better, so they, I think everyone knows that this is a bad spot. Those here say the announcement is a clear win, but they will still keep up the battle. John Lyon, WYFF News 4, Clemson.